the Mokofi brothers who built the first flat in their room, and the Wright, the Wright brothers, showing man's total desire to fly like the birds and to be, you know, and uh, all of that one huge emotional thing to fly like the birds. And so all of that was beautifully modeled in this story by Ray Bentley, which I made it. I adapted into a script, and then we marketed it to format films, which just split off from UTA as an independent production company. And they saw what we were doing, and I find myself collaborating with Ray Bentley, making a short film. And uh, I was thinking of bringing a longer copy of it to show it, because what I wanted to talk about that I never got around to is a project I want to do called The Edge of the World. In The Edge of the World, Christopher Columbus and his brave crew come to the edge of the goddamn world, and it's going off like a waterfall. Well, Mr. Norton, you know, they said, well, flat as a kind of table, and there's the water, and their ship is caught up and they go over the edge of the world, and they find themselves in a kind of a fantasy land. And it's, it's modern America, or America spelled with a K. They're just plain guys. Uh, Columbus's first mate is named George. <laughs> and George, George is so treacherous. He, he's trying every moment to get it out from underneath the domination of Christopher Columbus. Round as an orange, he thinks he's so ridiculous and he's vindicated flat as a goddamn table. <laughs> I'm right now. Anyway, uh, I, uh, I'm so with him on the edge of the world. Right? It's going to be a fine, fully animated film. It's, it's the kind of animation that could be done as live action. So the closer the animation looks to footage, looks to photographs of live action, the better it'll be, and the more remarkable the cartoonist will be. And it's all done. So you're working on a script for it? Yeah. yeah, I've broken it down several times. I've even talked to a couple of people about doing The Edge of the World as a fully animated movie, because it could be done as live action. In fact, we thought for a while of getting Dean Martin to play Christopher Columbus. <laughs>